We're now hearing from one of the former hostages held at gunpoint inside a Jacksonville Credit Union last December. We first brought you the just released surveillance video yesterday showing the frightening drama as it unfolded over two hours. All 13 hostages got out safely when police brought an end to the siege and arrested 23-year-old Nicholas Humphrey, who remains in jail awaiting trial. Channel 4's Vic Michalucci showed this new video to one of the people who was inside the bank who describes what was going on during the standoff. December 1st started as any other for Kenneth Lawnen. He went to the bank and even struck up a conversation with the man behind him. No problems. But minutes later... I thought he was going to kill all of us. He says Nicholas Humphrey, wearing a hard hat with his dog by his side, pulled a gun out of this bucket of dog food and fired one shot into the ceiling. He said, this is a stick-up. It's a stick-up. And then he said, wait, wait, who got the key? Lock the door, lock the door. A few people were able to get away before the manager locked up. Then, the longest two hours of Lonin's life. He says the gunman led the hostages to a back room. He was acting like he had all us in a classroom. He said, I'm 23 years old. He said, I don't have nothing here. I don't have anything to even live for. I don't have no family. I don't have no friends. And see, when he said that, that scared me. Minutes after it started, we broke the news on air. 13 people held hostage. A dangerous scenario unfolding on live TV. And we do need to be careful not to show any live exactly, Vic. swap movements. There's multiple individuals inside the bank. And Humphrey wanted to watch. He said, well, I know we own the news now. And so they took him on back then. All of us sat down. You were watching the news? Yeah, mm -hmm. I was watching it. Video shows Humphrey agitated, putting a gun to one woman's head as Lonin and the other captives stayed in the back. What was it like being back there? S being scared and nervous, wondering what's going to happen to you. We sure thought we was going to die. But nearly two hours after it started, a few hostages distracted Humphrey and got away. It was the break the SWAT team needed to barge in. So when those officers came in? We, we felt safe. The one lady throwed up her hand. Thanks to the Lord. We was, well, we was happy. It's a feeling that Lonin says he'll never forget. Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.